Defenders, stamped out in one piece from the highest quality heavy gauge steel. This fender press weighs 200,000 pounds. It stands 22 feet high and 10 feet below the ground. It exerts a pressure of 300,000 pounds. The great American value calls for the never ceasing watchfulness of experienced workmen. Cylinders must meet the exacting standards of accurate test gauges. Many parts conform to measurements within the thousandth part of an inch. For inspecting the great American six-cylinder motor, gauges are used that test as closely as one-tenth of the thickness of a human hair. Transmissions are assembled with extraordinary care. Inspectors watch and check each operation. Millions of six-cylinder owners have learned what precision machining means in adding to the life of the car. In the transmission system, Exhaustive tests and experiments are made to secure perfection. The Chevrolet synchro mesh transmission must be checked for silence at every speed. Such parts as crankshaft bearings, valves and cylinders get special inspection all along the line. Inspectors check inspectors and other inspectors check them. Every part must be made right and put together right. Valves are formed in machines that never vary their movements the smallest fraction of an inch. Scientific research in the interest of the car owner is constantly discovering new ways to better the product. Engine valves of pure silicone steel are made by a special and exclusive process. Every working day, 360,000 small parts are painstakingly inspected by experts using test gauges and checking devices. Hundreds, thousands of checks and double checks. Highest quality is the goal of America's largest motor car manufacturer. 5,162 inspections are made on the six-cylinder Chevrolet motor alone. On the general assembly line, out of every 10 workmen, three are inspectors, ready with a quick eye and special knowledge to find any flaw which might exist in materials or workmanship. To produce a million of these cars each year, America's greatest industries must play an important part. Vast forests of the finest hardwoods contribute to the making of stylish Chevrolet Fisher bodies, the strongest in the world. And throughout the great forest comes the lumberman's cry of timber! as the trees come crashing down. The way is long, the night is dark, but I will my thoughts a happy lark will be singing at the end of the surprising degree, today's automobile bodybuilders follow the traditions and ideals of the men who wrought by hand traveling carriages for kings and nobles, 
to which have been added new standards of comfort and utility. When it was found that hard wood combined with steel gave the strongest and best body construction, the method was perfected and adopted for the modern low-priced automobile as well as for all the highest priced cars. When steel is reinforced with hard wood, you have the strongest and safest automobile body. Over 10,000 pounds of leather, 200 million pounds of wood, 54 million pounds of glass products, 3 million pounds of wool, and 52 million pounds of the South best cotton are used in these bodies. Besides the products of timber forests, the quality car body demands the finest of plate glass. Brought to a white heat in the roaring furnaces, some holding 20 pots of molten glass at one time. Only America can produce this fine, clear glass in the quantities and quality needed. Acres upon acres of perfect plate glass are made daily to shield the car rider from cold, snow, and rain. To the casting table, where molten glass becomes clear and even plate. Glass as few outsiders ever see it. And here is the funniest industrial operation in America pressing out the air bubbles underneath the glass. The march of the wooden soldiers. <laughs> Watch the China doll on the right. A solution kept at even temperature aids in polishing the surface to give the undistorted vision of the famous Fisher windshield and clear window glass. Great vacuum cups, like the tentacles of an octopus, reach down and grasp the panes of finished plate glass and carry them away to be cut to size. Here at Miami, Florida, tests are constantly being made exposing duco, wood, and metal surfaces to all weather to check the wearing qualities. Exposure is made in a tropical climate, in the humidity of salt sea air, in the burning sun, in soot, wind, and rain. Wonderful advances in the fineness and durability of finish have been made, not content with what seems ample assurance of the enduring lustrous quality of genuine duco. Some of these duco panels are left in the open for years, constantly examined very closely for effects of exposure. All of this is done to produce the brightest and most lasting finish to meet the demands of every climate. How long will chromium plate, nickel, and copper wear? Tests tell the tale. How long will wood stand up under all sorts of exposure? The facts are found here. Now let's go to the sunny south and listen to the songs of the dockies as the cotton crop is gathered. I hear them angels calling loud, keep in the middle of the road. They swing there in a great big crowd, keep in the middle of the road. I see them stand around the big white gate, traveling along for just two it ain't no use for sit and wait. Just keep in the middle of the road. Children, keep in the middle of the road. Children, keep in the middle of the road. Don't you turn to the right, don't you turn to the left. Just keep in the middle of the road. I hear them angels calling loud. Keep in the middle of the road. They swing there in a great big crowd. Keep in the middle of the road. I see them stand around the big white gate. Traveling 
Chevrolet, vast quantities of cotton make their way from the southern fields to give modern traveling luxury to the motorist. And as comfort is an important item, this cotton must be the pick of the crop. 22 cotton states share in the proceeds from every sale of the great American value in automobiles. <laughs> 